We are continuing our discussion of parts identification. And in this video, we are going to focus on the fittings that connect pipes together. That includes T's, Y's, and some other special fittings that we will identify. A sanitary T or sand T is a T that has just a slight bend because of the connection to that T isn't just straight in at a sharp degree. It has a gradual turn coming out from the T. This helps the waste to flow through the drainage system. So it is important to understand what a sand tee is, and let's look at the names and descriptions. The common name for the one on the top is a two inch sand tee. That means, as you remember from our discussion on tees, that it is a two by two by two inch sanitary tee. And that's what the manufacturer is going to call it. The second one shown has a reducing connection point. So we would call this a two by inch and a half sand tee commonly on the job, but technically it is a two by two by one and a half inch sanitary tee. Here we have a sand tee where one end of the tee and the branch are both reducing. So this would be a two by inch and a half by inch and a half sand tee in common terms. And similarly, two by inch and a half by inch and a half sanitary tee is what it would be described as by the manufacturer. And here we have a two by inch and a half by two sand tee or two by inch and a half by two sanitary tee. So did you get that? I just want to make sure that you're clear on sand tees because this is the difference between someone who knows what they're talking about in plumbing and someone who doesn't. If you didn't understand what I just went through, what I want you to do is go back in the video and take a close look at the difference between each of those tees. Notice what they look like. Notice their different connections and the sizes and how they're described. If you can do that, you understand how that works, you're gonna be way better off as a plumber. All right, next let's have a look at the Y connection fittings. This is another point of connection between pipes, but this creates a 45 degree angle coming off of the main line that is branched. Also, as we describe these fittings, we are going to use the letters DWV. Now DWV stands for drainage waste and vent. And that can be applied to any of these drainage fittings we've talked about. You could say the same for the 90s. Um, we're just going to apply this as the manufacturers will include this at times as we're describing the Ys. So here we have a PVC Y. It's a two inch Y is what we would call it in the common terms. The description for this similar to T's would be a two by two by two inch DWV Y. Here we have a Y that is creating a two inch connection rather than a three inch. So we would call this a three by two Y or a three by three by two DWV Y. Now don't forget with all of these that you want to throw in the type of pipe too, right? If you're ordering a Y, you're going to include the PVC is what it is. Here we have another fitting that is unique to drainage. This is called a combination or sometimes we call it a combi or a combo. It depends on where you live and who you work for, but you can see what this is. It's another connection point. Similar to the Santee, it creates a 90 degree turn or connection. Now the Santee was a lot shorter, but you can see how this has a long sweep is what we call it. It's a 90 degree turn that takes its time. And this really helps with the drainage flow. This fitting is called a combination because it's basically like a Y and a 45 connected together in one fitting. It creates that longer bend. The manufacturer would call it a two by two by two combination Y. Here is an example of the reducing version. So it has a two inch pipe and there's a one and a half inch branch coming off using a combination fitting. Commonly we would call this a two by inch and a half combination or combi or combo. The manufacturer is going to call it a two by two by inch and a half combination Y. All right, check out these fittings. These fittings are made for connecting sinks or fixtures that are back to back on either side of a wall. They create a longer sweep or a, a slow bend into the T. You can connect two, as you can see here. And the top one we would refer to as a two inch double fixture fitting. The manufacturer description of this is a two by two by two by two DWV double fixture fitting. Now the one on the bottom 
has two inlets that are smaller in size, one and a half inch. So this would be a two by inch and a half double fixture fitting. The manufacturer would call this a two by two by inch and a half by inch and a half DWV double fixture fitting. All right, take a look at this fitting. Can you see the difference between this and the double fixture fittings we were looking at? The double fixture fittings had a longer sweep coming into them. This does have two connections, but it has a shorter sweep. This would be a sanitary tee or a double sand tee. This one has reducing inlets, so it's a two inch pipe. We'd call it a two by inch and a half double sand tee. The manufacturer description would be a two by two by inch and a half by inch and a half DWV double sanitary tee. Whoa. Now, this is not gonna be used for fixtures. This would be used in venting to connect vents together. That's just air. When we're doing sinks back to back or fixtures with fluid that's gonna flow into the drain, we want the longer sweep that we get from those double fixture fittings. Let's have a look at one more T that is used in drainage. This is called a test T and it is used to do that, to test the pipes. This is not a fixture connection. So we're not supposed to hook sinks or anything else up to this. You can see that this has a threaded opening that comes straight out. There's no sweep, no bend coming into it. It's just a straight on 90 degree T. And that threaded opening is made so that we can put a threaded plug into there. This way we can create a test by plugging the pipe at this point. This can also serve as a clean out point later if we need to clean the drain with a snake. We can unthread the plug, run the snake down. So that is the purpose of this fitting. We call this a two inch test T. The manufacturer would call this a two inch test T with a two inch threaded plug. All right, so this concludes our discussion on the drainage fittings that create connections in drainage pipes. If you're struggling with these, uh, having difficulty determining which is which or what makes them different, I'd recommend you go look at these one more time, watch the video and make sure that you understand when you see a fitting, you should be able to identify that. Now let me tell you why. As an apprentice, when you're working as a plumber, you will be asked to go and get parts. And when you go and get those parts, you'll need to know the difference between a Santi and a Y and a combination fitting because it's important as we're installing those that we have the right fitting. So make sure you understand and I will see you on the next one.